Hello YouTube fans, my name is Emily here it's with another edition of WWE Rants. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is every time I've been hearing on the fucking internet lately about WrestleMania, about what the hell is gonna happen next year, about WWE Superstar of the Year, all this and that. And honestly, I just want to get right into it and say my opinions about everything and hopefully you guys share the same opinions. Even if you guys have different opinions, just comment down below. And before I even get started, I filmed my makeup video to this look. Um, that will be up, uh, that will be edited and uploaded probably by tomorrow. Whoever cares, go watch that by tomorrow. If no one cares, then just continue watching this little video about WWE, like I always talk about. But okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna pull my my phone out for the simple fact that I need to go on Instagram to. to know what i want to talk about well for starters i already know one thing is that um a magazine named becky lynch wrestle wrestler of the year and honestly in my opinion she deserves it she was totally badass this year and i can't wait till 2019 comes so we can so she can grow even more in this character that she's having and we can see like oh my god like she is fucking badass and she is a little Stone Cold Steve Austin in the making to me. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of the oh, even though this whole video is about WWE and everything, but WWE went to Madison Square Garden and John Cena made his debut. We de return debut. He's not really returning. It's not really a debut. So I'm just gonna say John Cena came back for one night and. He went to Madison Square Garden, and yeah, basically Vince McMahon called him out, came, fought Baron Corbin, and won with the fine with the fucking thunder fist or whatever the fuck it is. But yeah, he won with that. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. What the fuck are you doing? It's a, it's a different video. Still? It's a different video. Still? Uh, yeah. He came in when I was doing my makeup video and he was like, okay, let me know when you're done. By the way, that's my brother. Go subscribe to him. Let's go clown. Be in a week. <laughs> Description down below. I'm a weird child. Don't even, don't even notice me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, John Cena came back at the Master's Good Garden event. There was NXT people at the Madison Square Garden event. It was Tommaso Ciampa, Alistair Black, um, the, the, I can't think of their fucking names right now because I'm fucking tired. The Undisputed Era, um, Johnny Gargano, Matt Riddler. Is it Riddler or Rid Riddle? Matt Riddle. There we go. Matt Riddle. Um, Ricochet, uh, and Villating Dream. I said I was the black already, right? Okay. Oh, and so yeah, I saw little clips of that match and put. Um, I can't even fucking speak right now. But <laughs> I saw little clips of that match, and to be honest, that match was actually pretty good. Everyone said who was at the live event said that that match was really the highlight of the whole um, event that day, and I'm. Um, can't fucking talk. Uh, and all the people were saying that it was mostly raw people than SmackDown. And I'm like, of course, of course, because SmackDown people were in some other place. Uh, I was pretty upset. I was like, you have NXT and Raw, but not SmackDown. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. So moving on. I did not get to finish SmackDown the other day because I fell asleep sleep and uh, let's just say i fell asleep and um yeah aj styles attacked vince mcmahon everyone said this, this is his heel turn coming into 2019 and honestly if it if it is aj styles becoming heel i just pray we get the bullet club back together in the end of wwe bring finn balor onto smackdown <sighs> it would be fucking glorious in my fucking opinion and honestly, if WWE does do this, since, you know, they're listening to the fans now, um, I just hope, I just hope they don't fuck it up and please do it right. Because 
The whole Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles thing was fucking trash. We thought it would be fucking good because they did so good in Japan. But no. But no. They fucked up. The dirty fucks up a lot on shit. And it's like... I know you guys are listening to us. We gotta... We gotta, we gotta hope for the best. We just gotta hope for the best. Okay. We just gotta hope for the best, guys. I have a lot... Like, literally, if you go to my Instagram, it's just wrestling wrestling stuff and go follow me emmy dot versace hmm, go follow me link will be in the description box below oh and daniel bryan and seth rollins had a steel cage match at this live event at madison square garden i don't know who won all i just saw was dean rubbing seth's face against the cage pretty not young i don't know who won that but if you guys know who won that i'm pretty sure it was either dean amber because he's here and they're trying to make him you know whatever <laughs> But yeah, a lot of WWE stuff, guys. Oh, oh my God. I did not even see when Rusev won the fucking title either. Ugh, Ugh I was so upset. That's the only match I wanted to see on SmackDown, to be honest with you, was Rusev winning the United States Championship again. And I didn't get to see it because my dumb ass fell the fuck to sleep. But it's whatever. Okay. And then another thing <laughs> that's on my mind about wrestling is that I have an issue with Charlotte Flair supposedly main event team WrestleMania 35. My issue with that is because she has already done a lot for the company and I feel like the opportunity should be saved for somebody who hasn't done a lot like she has. Like Alexa Bliss has done so much too. Alexa Bliss shouldn't even be in that category also. I feel like, I know some people will be like, but she has done a lot for the company, the person I'm about to say, that she has done a lot for the company. Yeah, she has, but lately she has not done nothing, and it's been pissing me the fuck off because it's, like, wasting her talent. And the person I'm talking about is Shasha Banks. In my opinion, she should be the first woman to main event Mania because she's such a fucking great wrestler. I don't know. I just fucking love Shasha Banks. I'm not saying Bailey doesn't deserve it because she does deserve it, but she doesn't deserve it as much as Shasha does, in my opinion. I don't care if you people get mad. That's my opinion. Um, another person I think who deserves to be main eventing mania is Asuka. Because WWE, ever since she debuted on the main roster, has been giving her bullshit shit. And in my fucking opinion, she deserves to get that main event spot. She has the fucking title now. If, you, if WWE plans this fucking right... They can have Asuka be champion until Mania. They can have a rematch at Mania of her and Charlotte. They don't even got to do her and Charlotte. They can do her versus Naomi at Mania. And I will be so fucking happy if that happens. Because my girl Naomi going to win it again at Mania. Probably not. But if that was a match, I would love to see that match at Mania in my fucking opinion. I feel like that's a, Wrest that's a WrestleMania match. If you give it the right rivalry, the right whatever to it the right promos or whatever it will be a good match if you just shit on it like okay we don't give a fuck about this just say this just say this just say this that's gonna fuck up and that's what has been happening to wwe lately before they said we're gonna listen to the fans it's been shit it has been shit and even the wrestlers realize it has been shit even vince mcmahon his damn self know it has been shit and Everyone knows it has been shit. And if you have been liking Raw this past year, what are you smoking? Because clearly it's nothing good if you think Raw has been awesome this year. In my opinion, SmackDown has done way better than Raw this year. This year was SmackDown's year, in my fucking opinion. SmackDown didn't really have that good sh stuff. Actually, it was NXT's year. Fuck SmackDown, fuck Raw. I, I mean, SmackDown, it was a, it was kind of SmackDown's year too. But Raw had a shitty fucking year. A really shitty fucking year. And honestly, I feel like this is this shittiness is going to fucking continue until either Triple H takes over the company or nothing, no one does nothing and Raw keep loses its viewers. And then everyone's going to be like... I don't know what the fuck to do anymore. And then cancel Raw. And then there's just could be SmackDown NXT. Now, obviously, I wouldn't mind that either. But 
<sighs> Moving on, and also in my fucking opinion, this whole WrestleMania thing happening and hearing all these matches, supposed matches, some of them are great. Some of them, some rumors I'm hearing are great. Some rumors are like, what the fuck? Don't even plan that match. What the fuck are you thinking with that match? And an, a rumor that I hope is true that I have said before in my, vid in my videos that I hope and I pray, I hope and I pray, Shawn Michaels comes back from Mania to fight AJ Styles. Like, I really want this. I really want that dream match, in my fucking opinion, because, uh, I don't know. I just feel like it will be, like, so beautiful. Like, just, I don't know, just thinking about it wants me, makes me want to cry, but I can't cry because I have makeup on. But, yeah. Okay, moving on. Another, like, dream match I have for Mania that I pray happens this year. Actually, I don't pray it. It most likely will happen, but not as a triple threat. I want it as a triple threat, but it probably won't be a fucking triple threat. Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch at Mania for the Raw Women's Championship. In my fucking opinion, since Becky Lynch even said that she wants all she wants from Vince, Stephanie, um, Triple H, um, Shane McMahon is to put her hands on Ronda Rousey. And if there's a superstar shakeup coming along, then this that's the opportunity that Becky Lynch could get drafted onto SmackDown. I mean, onto Raw. But another issue with that is that when SmackDown moves to Fox, Fox thinks Ronda Rousey would be perfect to move with the switch. And if that's gonna happen, then we can't have it. I feel like that should happen after Mania. Like, let these girls have their Mania match. This is not, and then do whatever. Please, just do whatever. But just let this match happen at Mania. Even if it's not a triple threat, I would still love to see that. Um, I would still love to see Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey at Mania. I do not want to see Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey again because it wasn't even supposed to be Charlotte to begin with. But, you know, she's Charlotte Flair, so they're going to give her it or whatever. But, yeah, those are my opinions I want to have on everything. I know I couldn't really talk in this video, which is fucking hilarious. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I'm just fucking tired, and I'm just a weird fucking person in general. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching my videos, and thank you for listening to my dumb ass and my, um, me just talking to myself in front of the camera. And me looking like a fucking complete weirdo, but... Yeah, like I said, thank you guys for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to me. Ugh, that would mean a lot. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the holidays. Have a happy new year and see y'all in 2019. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>